Now to someone who has battled extreme heat, dangerous wildlife, been robbed at gunpoint. Ultra runner Russ Cook, though, is still trying to break records and raise money for charity by running the length of Africa. So here's the plan. He planned to be at home with his feet up by now, but he's still got a long way to go until he reaches the finish line in Tunisia. Here's a look at the journey so far. Well, I'm going. It was back in April 2023 that Russ Cook first hit the tarmac of South Africa's southernmost road and his epic challenge began. Let's go! Day three, day four, day six, the heavens have opened. Day 31, let's go! Day 102, day 207, temperature. Through the roof. Day 235 of running the entire length of Africa. And I'll see you on the other side. He's aiming to become the first person to run the length of Africa. His destination, Tunisia. By the end of his mammoth challenge, he'll have covered nearly 10,000 miles. Let's go smash some ones and twos. Mate, what a turnout, man. You've done so well to get so many people down. Yeah, it's crazy. Police escort as well, man. Still running. Beyond the gruelling challenge of running an ultramarathon every day... Every time I stood up, I'd get dizzy. He's faced illness and injury. Got to be the hardest day, yeah? And his team were robbed at gunpoint while running through Angola. My immediate thought was just like, calm him down as much as possible, because he's got a gun. Their visas and passports were stolen. Ooh. But they don't call him the hardest geezer for nothing. After a brief pause to sort out new visas and equipment, Russ and his team were back on the road. Shit, a bit louder. Next stop, Senegal and the vast Sahara Desert. Abby Smitten, BBC News. Let's catch up with Russ in real time. Russ, good morning to you. Hello. Where are you? How's it going? Going really well, Russ. Um, hope you are too. Where are you at this moment in time and, and how's it going with you? Yeah, good. I've just crossed into Senegal from Guinea. Um, so, yeah, all, always looking good. We're sizing up the Sahara Desert for the final leg of the mission. Excellent. So you're on the final leg. I think the last time you and I spoke, it was just after you'd been held at gunpoint, I think. And um, you were kind of recalling that. It's kind of worth telling our viewers what happened, whether or not that was the low point or how it's been since. Yeah, I mean, that honestly, feels like a lifetime ago now. I think that, you know, that was back in Angola. Um, a, a very, you know, unfortunate instance where two blokes pulled up uh, whilst I was on a break and just pointed a gun at my face and said, you know, give us everything you've got. So, you know, that's the only time we've actually been robbed. Um, and I've been out here for 273 days now. So uh, since then, we've, we've obviously had a few incidents here and there, but nothing as quite as um, extreme as that, I'll say. Uh, Russ, your achievement... Good morning to you. It's Charlie here, by the way. Um, uh, your achievements are, are amazing. Uh, can I just also Thanks. compliment you on your beard, which is also looking absolutely fantastic. Is it kind of symbolic of the journey? Is, is there a thing going on there? Yeah, yeah. So I decided that I wasn't going to cut my hair for the entire mission, beard included. And um, we've got some, you know, the locks are really coming into their own now. Uh, started with a skinhead and now I've got uh, some weird little uh, slick back look going on, but we, we make the best of it, you know? Well, it's looking very good. And can I ask you, Russ, about wildlife? I have been looking carefully. I think I saw a goat a few minutes ago behind you, which is not scary, yeah. presumably. But uh, wildlife has been an issue along the way, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, we've bumped into uh, quite a few different uh, animals. Um, but luckily for me, all the big ones seem to have... They've heard rumours of a mad ginger lad running through the continent and they've just deserted at all costs. So, you know, luckily... We're all good. Um, few snakes, few monkeys, uh, but nothing too crazy. Russ, you said you're on the last leg. Um, what's the plan from now on in then, now going forward? <clears throat> well, we've actually got quite a difficult, 
quite a difficult stretch to manoeuvre. And, you know, one of, the, one of those reasons is because the Sahara Desert is really big, famously has no water and very hot. Um, but an, another one to add into that issue is that there's a bit of a, like, quite some... Uh, difficult geopolitical issues to resolve in that in that region. So we've got to cross from Mauritania to Algeria on foot, which, as far as we can see from research online, kind of hasn't been done by foreigners in, however, like a very long time. So we're currently trying to get in contact with some high up government tourism board people in Algeria to try and help us smooth that situation over. So. Um, you know, if anyone knows anyone, give me a shout. <laughs> just seen the goat in the just behind you on the right. I think that the goat has just made yeah. an appearance. There it is. Uh, you probably can't see it. Um, just talk us through, uh, Russ. Do you have something? Do you have music or anything in your head uh, that keeps you going? What's your thing when you're having a low point? What's the thing that keeps you going? Yeah, so I, I mean, I quite often listen to music. Um, I, I, I do just really enjoy thinking as well. So I have a lot of thinking time when I'm running and then podcasts as well. I listen to a lot of podcasts and, you know, a lot of audio books and things like this. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I quite often have music for when I'm you know, feeling good, when I'm vibing hard. And then I'll, I'll listen to a podcast when I'm not feeling so great for it, try and get a different perspective on things, you know. All of this is for tra charity as well. I know you put a lot on social media and keep people up to date. So... Good luck. Um, keep going, obviously. Um, and good of you to check in with us, Russ. Thank you very much. Cheers for having me, guys. Have a Bye. great day. You too. Bye. He's unstoppable, isn't he? And he tells us to have a nice day while we're sitting on a sofa and he's getting ready to run again. Lovely guy. Russ Cook there.